To create a job, we'll go to Menu, then we'll scroll across to Job, or you could push number 1. By default it chooses the date for the job name and adds a 1. So for one certain day you could have more than one jobs and it would increment. Or you could delete it and type your own name in. I'm going to call this job training. I'm going to abbreviate it to keep it short. G. And I'm going to change from alphanumeric to numeric to add a one there. Enter. And enter again for OK. So that's how to create a job. Now if we wanted a control job or to specify a control job, we'll go back to menu, back into job, and we can choose any of these jobs as a control job, which will allow us to refer to that job from any job we've created for control points. How these functions work is where it ends that button you would push to activate the function. So we're going to push display for the control job. Yes. And then we can see that it's assigned a little control icon showing us that we've successfully created a control job.